everyone, I'm Hugo Teixeira, I'm the lead artist and illustrator for the Ripoverse. So a lot of the, the illustrations that you see that are not part of the comic itself are made by me, so merchandising and uh, social media posts are made either by me or Marcos this far. So I do basically all of that while uh, subsequently hating myself for everything that I do and trying to improve afterwards. So every artwork that you see is composed of a lot of time, uh, skill, suffering, blood and tears. <laughs> so that's basically what goes into every part of that. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that stuff in here so you guys can take a look. I have been an illustrator and a graphic designer and comic book artist for the past 10 years. And uh, I'm also a libertarian, so uh, I followed uh, Being Libertarian, which is a page uh, created, co-created by Eric and uh, has a massive reach on Facebook. And I, I drew something like a sketch, a pencil sketch, and uh, about some of the concepts behind being a libertarian and they got in touch with me and asked if I wanted to be a part of the team and I became a part of their team. Uh, I, I was mainly doing uh, graphic design work for them from time to time and then I decided one day that I was fed up and I wanted to make some political drawings and commentary, comic book artwork as well and I started to sprinkle it here and there and it got the attention of Eric and then when he decided to go look for a comic book artist, I applied, I sent him an email and he proposed that I, instead of working like as a comic book uh, artist, I worked as an illustrator for him. So merchandising, visual art, any, anything related to the identity behind the Ripperverse is at least part, partially on my table. I remember I got it as a gift uh, from my mom when I was about six or seven years old. And uh, the comic was a Captain American comic. Uh, in Brazil, they are this size, a height or something like that. Uh, they, are really, they were really small back then. And uh, it was about uh, Steve Rogers losing his superpowers. So he, w he was becoming like a regular soldier, a, a regular uh, human being and the story featured uh, Daredevil going after Bullseye and getting in the way of Steve War Rogers while he was fighting uh, the school Crossbone, I think his name is in English. Oh, by the way, I'm Brazilian. That's, that's why, that, that's the reason of everything else. And uh, uh, Steve War Rogers also had to fight uh, Kingpin and uh, Red Skull because they were at odds with each other and he was questioning himself all the time so Steve Rogers was having like this internal dialogue about what made him the superhero that he is, that he was uh, until then and if he was uh, the superhero, the Captain America because of the super serum or because of the actions that he had and the decisions that he had made and I remember like even that young I remember uh, that story resonating with me a lot because it was about what what it takes to be a, a hero and uh, it was a very well written story for a child to read at least and it, it got stuck in my head to this day. I think that a comic book that stands the test of time, it's one of my favorites, is Question. Uh, it was he was created by uh, Steven Ditko uh, and he has a lot of Ayn Rand's influence on it uh, so there is a lot of existentialism and other questions uh, regarding that character that I really like and uh, I became a fan of him because of the animated uh, Justice League which is like a version of him and then I got into his comic books and I think that uh, many of his inter iterations uh, are still standing strong today, maybe even stronger. Uh, 
considering the world that we live in today and he's a, a very introspective character a very, a very nuanced character as well and his use of violence and uh, investigative um, powers, let's say uh, his skills are, are very unique, I think, to a character and uh, I think that he he clearly has a place and he should have a bigger place on on today's like landscape. I don't like his iteration his latest iteration so much, but I think that they still has they still have some of the charm that the character had originally. I recommend I all I will always recommend Evil Dead series, especially the the earlier ones. I like the Ash vs. Evil Dead series as well, but I really like it, the character Ash. Uh, in general, I think his, he has a good arc and he becomes something else entirely from the first movie. And it's good, it's good horror. It's, it's a, uh, it has good comedy to uh, attached to it, so Evil Dead 1 and 2, and then Arm, Arm of the Darkness. I like the remake from 2013 as well. Those are fun uh, movies, they they are the kind of stuff that you can turn your brain off and just watch it or you can really analyze it and try to get a meaning behind it and see how the techniques that they were using are really like uh, second to none in terms of camera movement I think it's one of the be uh, best movies that I've seen in terms of like combining all those things being silly and being serious, I, I think it's very good In my free time, I also like to take care of my plants that we have around the house and uh, I also like to take care of my cats, walk my dogs, because I have two cats and three dogs. And I like to go running, I, I like to run a lot and uh, exercise a little bit, just to try and be in shape. I also like to watch a lot of horror movies and I'm a big horror movie fan, horror related genre, so comic books. Um, movies, games, anything that regard, even bad horror movies, I'm a big fan of it. Well, uh, we have a lot of Italians that come to Brazil, that came to Brazil back then, and I'm sure they would all kill themselves if they saw pineapple on pizza. We don't have a lot of places that serve that in Brazil, but I had the opportunity of trying it uh, when I was living in Sao Paulo, which is Brazil's biggest city, and I think it's okay. I would not pay for it, I would not choose it in a menu, but if it's uh, my plate, I would definitely eat it. Even though I would prefer something different uh, with more meat or something else in it, uh, even cheese, just cheese, I think. Okay, so maybe my answer is no, right? I don't know.